Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This is a video lecture which we have been very eagerly waiting for. We have gone through the phases when we coded the application, we built the application, we tested it, we looked for errors. Now it's time, you know, after we have done all this, we need to now sign the application and now distribute. So how it all starts is you start with the coding of the application. If it works fine, you build it, you then test it. Any problem till here, you have to reiterate till you are able to have the final running output. After it's final that yes, the application is running fine, it has been properly tested. At that point in time, you sign the application and you deploy the application. By deployment, we mean that uh, you can push the application to the published application to the Play Store or there are APK distributors and many sites for that matter. You can use them to distribute your application. So now let's see how this uh, whole process looks like and how do you actually get a APK out of it. So you are having a Java file the java compiler converts the, this java into this one dot class then the dex compiler or the dalvik executable tools convert this class to dex files and then you have the aapt kit aapt is android assistance packaging tool this converts the dex file to the apk and you would be distributing this particular apk or publishing this particular apk onto various sites or for that matter anywhere so how it starts the dx tool or the delhi executable tool convert dot class file to the dot x files we use it because for a, because of the power like we have discussed in the very first uh, lectures in the starting that uh, dex files are memory efficient and save a lot of power so you know giving us memory advantage and reducing the boot up time then it is then we then we have the apt tool as i told you is android assistance packaging tool it is useful to convert the dex files to the apk and the apk is android packaging uh, kit the final stage of the de deployment process is called as the apk you get this apk and you can distribute this apk to your like to the sites or to friends now we would be going through a session uh, through a practical session wherein i would be telling you how do you actually export a signed apk now let's look at the steps first of all so first you need to generate a key tool after the key tool, you need to compile your application in the, in the release mode to get an unsigned APK. Then you sign your APK using your private key using the jar signer. After this, you verify that the APK is signed and you get the final APK over here. Now, these all commands are actually, you know, like since Android is a Linux based and all these things can be operated from terminal also. We are having a you know like a fully ui based uh, tool tool which we use we call it the we you find it under the build and it's export signed apk but if you want you can even follow this process the very first step is obtaining the key tool see how does how will the you know how how do you identify yourself as the identifier of the or the owner of the application you need to have some password right so for that we are given a key tool this key tool is very much unique to you and unique to your uh, jar that you're using so after this, you get this, you generate the, you generate this key, you generate, and you, these are all the parameters. They would be like, uh, we don't use them as such. We just need to follow the steps because we are having a full UI where we would be passing this one. And then after this, uh, have you ever been to the APK folder that I have told you that that's under the build? You go to the application and then you have a build folder under the, you have the output folder under the output you will be finding the apk folder so that is also unsigned apk you get your apk in the unsigned uh, release uh, release manner and then you sign it using the key that you have generated this key you give the password for the key and you are able to sign it using that particular uh, format so after this you verify that that the key is that that the apk is signed you you know you check that is is it signed but in uh, like you can e even verify it in the UI by regenerating the APK. It would be if your APK is not signed or it's not generated by you, it would be giving an error. And then you are good to have the final uh, application packaging kit, the APK file onto your machine, which you can run and uh, use properly. So let's quickly go to our Android studio and see the actual working of this process. Hello guys, uh, welcome back again. Now in this session we would be seeing how we actually export our application and uh, which can be used to you know publish it to the play store or to any places. So we would be generating our export uh, file of which would be a apk file. So let's see how do we do that. So say I'm having a project open up the android studio project that you want. I'm having a project as content provider demo. I go to the build. In the build I click on generate signed apk. 
in the generate signed apk i choose a module of which i want to you know uh, generate the apk this is the app module only i click on next then it asks it is asking me for a key store basically basically what is the key store see you need some place wherein you know you can say that yes you are the actual owner of the application and you are actually having all the rights or all the permissions you need uh, to modify this application so we are having a key store which would if in case of any problem you can it it would be acting as a key it would be kind of signature like uh, you know uh, your it would be having your apk apk keys uh, it's a kind of a digital signature that you are putting up like how do we do that is whenever we are creating it we need to have a secure you know for the purpose of security we are having a key so that yes this is your application and you know you only can modify it so what we do is I create a new key store as uh, I go to my desktop and I create as new underscore key store underscore new. I click on OK. I give the password as something. The confirm also as something. Elise is a name that you can give your name also. You need to give your password. And the certificate of the organization which is assuring that yes, this would be a uh, you know this is your responsibility this application so i have created i have created a new key store and i click on next after this it is asking me where i want to save my apk like the apk file i generated so i say desktop is completely fine with me and the build type is it a debug or a release by debug we means that you know it's a kind of beta or it's in the debugging mode or if it's a final release it's a final release right because there's no more modification the customer can use it directly I click on finish so here comes the status bar which would be building my APK for me so after this let me see how it works so uh, I click on reveal in finder and here I'm getting my exact APK that is app release APK 314 pm right so now I, if i give this uh, apk to the to my to anyone whom i want to give the apk the apk would be working as it is and would be totally fine so now let's look at other parameters that were there in this apk i use the existing key store This is a key store and this is a key lab. By key lab means who is the owner of the key store, right? So, this is like if you want, you can even remember your password, but that's not recommended. It's fine, you know, to have it. Now, let's change a new key. By key, I mean the owner or the person who is, you know, the responsible for this particular key store. So, I say Aditya. No, I say I, I say I like as Aditya. The password is Aditya. Confirm password is Aditya one. Obviously, the password and, and confirm password are not Aditya, so you need not to worry. You won't be able to able to access my keys. Unit is uh, SE. Tutorials point. CD is. Hyderabad state is Telangana country is India I click on OK so now I created a new LIC A I click next I get a I would be able to have a new application release for this particular application now if I want I can use this APK to you know to publish it to the play store or to give it to my friends and things like that ultimately making you a complete android developer so here's my apk that generated again it had it's new again now i can use this for all the purpose so i hope guys you have got the application development life cycle how we develop applications what all we have in applications and how do we even you know generate our signed application so that was all from our side. Stay tuned as we'll be taking you through other tutorials and other applications in detail. Thank you.